Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the BK-22 8K Dual Input HDMI Splitter. This product was engineered to make it incredibly easy for you to share any of your HDMI media content with two high-resolution monitors simultaneously. The product provides dual HDMI inputs as well, which you can easily switch between by tapping the button on the front of the product. It also fully supports all of the modern video standards, including 8K content, 4K content at both 120 and 60 frames per second, as well as 1080p content and even lower resolutions. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and then I'll take a closer look at the unit and explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it. I'll list the specifications, and finally, I'll come back and actually do a demonstration here to show you just how easy it'll be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find the BK-22 splitter. You'll also find a power supply. It's a standard DC 5 volt 1 amp power supply. You'll plug this end into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which you can plug into the back of the unit. And that's all the power you'll need to operate the product. You'll also find a warranty card and a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other details about the product you'll need to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned, next we'll take a closer look, and then I'll come back with the specifications and the demonstration. Inside the kit, you'll find the BK22 8K dual input HDMI splitter, a power supply. This is a standard 5 volt 1 amp DC power supply. This end can plug into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the power port in the back of the unit. And that's all the power you'll need to operate the product. You'll also find a warranty card to register the product and a full instruction manual that lists diagrams and specifications and all the information you'll need to understand exactly how to use the unit. Now we'll take a closer look at the splitter. The product is designed with a full metal enclosure, which makes it incredibly durable and helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. On the front of the unit, you'll find a series of LEDs starting on the left-hand side with a power indicator. When you add power to the unit, it starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking the electronics to make sure everything's working okay. When it passes that test, it'll light that LED letting you know it's ready to use. To the right of that are two input indicators, one and two. When you plug media devices into the back, the unit immediately checks the resolution of those media devices and makes sure the connection is good. When it verifies the connection is solid, it'll light these two LEDs, letting you know you've got a valid input. To the right of that are two output indicators. When you connect this up to the monitors you'd like to display the content on, again, it checks the resolution of those monitors and the cabling and lights these LEDs, letting you know you have a solid connection. To the right of that is a switch that allows you to switch between the two inputs, and then a service port right here that's a micro USB port that's used for pushing firmware to the unit later on if new firmware comes out to improve features of the product. On either side, you'll find ventilation slots to keep the electronics inside at a comfortable temperature, and on the rear, you'll find all the connections you'll need to make to your input and output devices. Starting on the left, this is input number one, input number two. These connect up to your media devices you'd like to share on the two monitors. Output number one and output number two go to your two monitors, and this is where you'll display your content. To the right of that is a power port. You can use the included power supply. Again, plug one end into the wall. The other end, the barrel connection, plugs in right here, and that's all the power you'll need to run the product. The O-Ray BK-22 is compatible with a wide range of modern media products, including streaming devices like Roku, home surveillance systems, DVD players, game consoles, and security cameras. The product supports a wide range of media standards, including 8K, 4K at both 120 frames per second and 60 frames per second, as well as 1080p content. It is both HDMI 2.1 and HDCP 2.3 compliant. Its video support includes HDR, HDR10, and HDR10+. It is also compatible with a variety of audio standards, including LPCM, Dolby-AC3, DTS 7.1, and Dolby True HD. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use the BK22 with your own equipment at home. And for this demonstration, I've set up two small media players right over here, each of them displaying a different image so we can tell them apart. Those will act as my media input devices. Over here, I've set up two monitors, and you'll see that both monitors will display the same image, and I'll switch between them using the button on the front. Here I have the HDMI splitter. Now the first set of connections I'll make are the monitors to the splitter. And I've got two HDMI cables already connected up to the monitors. And I'll plug those into output number one and output number two. And now I'll connect up the media players. Again, I've got two HDMI cables right here. I'll connect those up to input number one and finally input number two. 
Now that we've made all our connections, we're ready to add power. I've got the power supply plugged in on the floor. Barrel connector here slides into the power port in the back. And the minute I add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power and self-test where it's checking all the electronics to make sure everything is working okay. It's also checking the input resolution of my media devices against the output resolution of my monitors. It's making whatever adjustments are needed to give me the best possible picture. And there you go, that's the first image. Now to switch between those two media inputs, all I have to do is tap this button on the front and you'll see it'll take a second to make adjustments again and the picture will come up. And it really is just that simple to get it working. And you can use this with pretty much any media device you've got that has an HDMI output and easily select between them by tapping that button. I hope you found this overview of the BK-22 8K HDMI splitter helpful. It really does provide a very easy way for you to share all of your HDMI media content with a pair of high resolution monitors simultaneously. And the fact that it supports dual HDMI inputs means you can easily switch between two different media devices by simply tapping the button on the front. And it's full support for both emerging and existing video standards like 8K content, 4K content at 120 and 60 frames a second, as well as older content standards like 1080p and 720 means you'll never have to worry about upgrading this product later on. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.